Cubbies, are you ready to go to Apple Acres and see our friend Cubby Bear? Let's call him together. One, two, three, Cubby! Hi, boys and girls. Cubby, you seem excited, more excited today than usual. Why are you so excited? I am now an important member of the Help Club. The Help Club? What's that, Cubby? It's our new club on Apple Acres Farm. Timothy, Katie, Lovey, and I are all our members. Our job is to watch out for people who need help while they are visiting the farm. I see. Did you find anyone who needed help today? Well, Timothy and I saw a lady leaving the apple market. She was carrying a bag full of jams and yummy honey. Mm. Did you help her carry the jars? Timothy offered to help, but she said the jars could break easily, so she needed to carry them herself. We started to walk away when we heard the sound of a whistle. Timothy and I ran to the playground. <laughs> I blew my whistle to let Timothy know that someone needed help. Who was it, Katie? It was Will, Timothy's good friend from Cubby's. Oh no, what was wrong with Will? Why did he need help? Will was in a wheelchair because of his broken leg. He was sad because he couldn't play with his friends or ride the Orchard Express, the train on Apple Acres Farm. Timothy and I realized we could help him. We pushed the wheelchair over to the train, and Mr. Ted, the train conductor, set out the ramp. We were able to push Will's wheelchair up the ramp and on to the train. Timothy and Cubby were such good friends, and Will was happy he got to ride the train. It sounds as if you all were doing a great job at helping others on Apple Acres Farm. <laughs> I hope so. Katie, let's go see if there's anyone else on the farm who needs our help. Yes, let's go, Cubby. Bye, everyone. Bye. We will see our friends again next time at Apple Acres. Bye. The help club sounded like fun. I'm glad that they were able to help Will. Do you remember why Will was sad? Yeah, that's right, Cubbies, because Will had a broken leg. It would have been hard to not be able to use your legs. Can you think of all the ways that we use our legs every day? Did I hear standing up? Jumping, kneeling? Walking, running? Very good. Cubbies, you may sit back down. I'm going to tell you a true story from the Bible about a man who was paralyzed. That means that his legs didn't work. This man could not go anywhere unless someone carried him. But do you know what? The man had four special friends who wanted to help him. These friends had heard many wonderful things about Jesus. The friends knew that if anyone could help their paralyzed friend, it would be Jesus. One day, the four men lifted up their friend's mat and carried the man to the house where Jesus was. Inside the house, Jesus was teaching the people about himself and about his father, God. There were so many people in the house listening to Jesus that the four friends couldn't even get through the door. But what do you think? But they did not give up. What do you think they did? Yeah. They carried their paralyzed friend up the steps on the outside of the house and to the top of the house. Then they took part of the roof off the house and made a big hole. They carefully lowered the man through the roof. Imagine the surprise of the people in the house when they saw the paralyzed man being lowered through the hole in the roof. Jesus loved the paralyzed man and wanted to help him. But Jesus wanted to do something even better than helping the man's legs work again. See, boys and girls, Jesus knew that the paralyzed man had an even greater need than being able to walk again. He was a sinner.
Remember what the A on your vest stands for? The A stands for all. Romans 3.23 says, all have sinned. Can you say that with me? A is for all. Romans 3.23, all have sinned. Very good. The paralyzed man was a sinner, like all of us. Do you remember what a sin is? Yeah, a sin is anything that we think, say, or do that disobeys God. Jesus knew that he was the only one who could forgive the paralyzed man's sin. And he also knew that the paralyzed man and his friends believed in Jesus. So he said, your f sins are forgiven. Now, there were people in the crowd who did not believe that Jesus was God's son. They did not understand that Jesus could forgive sins. To help these people understand, Jesus did something else very special that no one else could do. Jesus said to the paralyzed man, get up, pick up your mat and go home. The paralyzed man stood up. His legs were healed which means his legs worked right again, and he could walk all the way home. The people who were watching then knew that Jesus was God. They were excited and praised God. They shouted, praise God. Let's say that together. Let's shout it. Praise God. Very good. Now, Jesus loved the four friends and the paralyzed man. In fact, the Bible says that Jesus loves all people. Let's say that again together. Jesus loves all people. He healed people when they were hurt or sick. But the best way Jesus showed his love to all people was by forgiving their sins. Jesus died on the cross so that our sins could be forgiven. But cubbies, Jesus didn't stay dead. After three days, count with me, one, two, three, Jesus came alive again. Because Jesus died for our sin and then came alive again, he has power to forgive sin. Our memory verse in Matthew 121 says, call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Let's say that together. Matthew 1, 21, call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Great job. If you trust in Jesus as your savior, God will forgive you of your sins. That means that God won't be angry and punish you for your sins because Jesus took the punishment. God won't even remember your sin. After you trust Jesus as your savior, you can be God's friends and get to know him better. And one day you will live with him forever in heaven. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I just thank you for coming to earth and for dying on the cross for our sins that we can just thank you that we can be forgiven if we trust in you. I pray, Lord, that the cubbies will put their trust in you, Lord, so that their sins could be forgiven and one day they will be with you for eternity. Thank you, Lord. In your precious and holy name, I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me at Cubbies. Until next time. Bye.